Good morning. Happy almost spring. Spring arrives tonight at 11.50 p.m., I believe. So almost at midnight we'll be asleep. So tomorrow will be the first full day of spring. And that groundhog was right. We had an early spring. We didn't get our snow day, did we? Oh, well. All right. Well, today on this kind of rainy, dreary morning, chapter 27, Lost and Found. It's a goodie. Joy and Mauricia were best friends. They sat down on the grass to eat their lunches. But then Mauricia remembered she needed some chocolate milk. She went to get some from Miss Mush. When she returned, she couldn't find her lunch anywhere. What happened to my lunch, she asked. Joy looked up at her and shrugged her shoulders. I set my lunch down right here, said Mauricia. You saw me, didn't you? Joy shook her head. I put it here and then I went to Miss Mush's room to get some chocolate. I had a peanut butter and banana sandwich, and there's no way I can eat a peanut butter and banana sandwich without chocolate sandwich without chocolate milk. Joy shrugged her shoulders. Mauricia didn't know what to do. Can I have a sip of your milk? said Joy. It was hard for Joy to talk because her mouth was full of peanut butter and bananas. Mauricia handed Joy the carton of chocolate milk. Joy took a big drink and then swallowed. Mauricia looked all around for her lunch. She crawled in the dirt as she searched through the bushes. Any luck? asked Joy as she found Marie she finished Mauricia's chocolate milk. I found it, Mauricia exclaimed. Joy coughed on the chocolate milk. You did? she asked, then coughed down again. Mauricia crawled out of the bushes holding a paper sack. She put it down next to Joy and opened it. Is it your lunch? asked Joy. No, said Mauricia. Too bad, said Joy. It's money, exclaimed Mauricia. Eyes, Joy's eyes nearly popped out of her head as she looked at the paper bag. It was stuffed with dollar bills, and they weren't just one dollar bills. There were a few five dollar bills, some ten dollar bills, but mostly twenty dollar bills. We found a million dollars, but Joy whispered. We? asked Mauricia. They counted the money. It wasn't a million dollars. It was $20,655. Let's split it, said Joy. You take half and I'll take half. forgot to show you the picture. Kind of spoiled the surprise. Maybe I should show it to Lewis, said Mauricia. Lewis, Joy exclaimed. Are you crazy? Let's spend it. We can buy a skateboard or a bicycle or a horse or a fancy car or an airplane. I like taking the bus, said Mauricia. You could buy ice cream, said Joy. All the ice cream you could ever eat for the rest of your life. She knew Mauricia loved ice cream more than anything else in the world. Mauricia smiled as she thought about it. Now I better show it to Lewis. He'll know what to do. You'll just get in trouble, warned Joy. Lewis will think you robbed a bank and you'll go to jail for the rest of your life. Lewis knows I'm not a bank robber, said Mauricia. But what if the real bank robbers find you? Find out you have their money, asked Joy. They'll come after you. It hurts you. Oh, I didn't think of that, said Mauricia. You better give it to me, said Joy. Lewis will protect me, said Marie Mauricia. She walked across the playground. Lewis was talking to Terrence. He said, if you ever tie Leslie's pigtails to the tetherball pole again, I'll... Lewis, look, said Mauricia. She held the paper sack up to Lewis's face. No, thank you, Mauricia. I'm not hungry, said Lewis. It's not my lunch, Lo said Mauricia. Look inside. Lewis took the bag, looked... From her, looked inside. Very nice, he said, then gave it back to her. Now I want you to go and untie Leslie and tell her. He suddenly stopped talking. He blinked his eyes. He looked at Terrence. He looked at Mauricia, then at Terrence, then at Mauricia, then at the paper bag. Let me see that again, he said. Mauricia gave him the bag. Hey, what about me, asked Terrence. Get lost, Jack Frost, said Lewis. Terrence ran away. Did you rob a bank, asked Lewis. No, I found it in the bushes, said Mauricia. I believe you, said Lewis. We'll have to put it in the lost and found. I know, said Mauricia. Whoever lost it is probably very sad. But if no one claims it in two weeks, you, um, said Lewis, you can have it. But if no one claims it in two weeks, you can have it, said, said Lewis. He took a bag full of mo the bag of money and headed to the office. Joy was waiting for Lewis at the door. Hey, Lewis, she said, I lost a bag of money. Have you seen it? Help, Leslie screamed from the tetherball court. 
for Leslie. A week later, Mauricia was eating lunch alone. She was eating a piece of sweet potato pie. Joy was crawling around in the dirt looking for more bags of money. Mauricia said, Lois, I'd like you to meet someone. This is Mr. Finch. Mr. Finch was an old man with white hair and a long white beard. He shook Mauricia's hands with both of his. It's your money, isn't it? Asked Mauricia. Mr. Finch nodded. It was my life savings, he said. For 50 years, I made pencils. I got a penny for every pencil I made. I hate pencils. But finally, I saved enough money to quit my job and do what I always wanted to do. What's that, asked Mauricia. I'm going to open my own ice cream parlor, he said. Then he started to cry. When I lost that money, I thought I'd have to start making pencils again. Mauricia cried, too. Here, I want you to have this, blubbered Mr. Finch. He gave her an envelope containing $500. It was the second largest amount of money Mauricia had ever had. And I will give you free ice cream for the rest of your life at my ice cream parlor. He, pro pro ice cream parlor. he pollet, promised. Thank you, said Mauricia. No, thank you, said Mr. Finch. I'm so glad someone as kind and as honest as you found it. There are so many dishonest people in the world. It's good to know that there are still good people, too. They hugged each other. Joy crawled out of the bushes. Hey, who's that? She asked. This is Mr. Finch, said Mauricia. It's his money. Look, he gave me a reward of $500, and he'll give me free ice cream for the rest of my life. Well, what about me, Joy demanded. Don't I get anything? Oh, dear me, said Mr. Finch. I didn't realize there was someone else involved. Mauricia would have never found the money if it wasn't for me, said Joy. Why? What did you do? asked Lewis. I stole her lunch, Joy said proudly. Mr. Finch gave her a pencil. All right, ladies and gents, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to stop trying to, I'm stop, going to stop flooding class tag with my YouTube videos um, so that or check back every day. I'm going to pretty much read every day. I miss you. Um, it's kind of rainy out, but I think it's supposed to get a little nicer later. I mean, spring is arriving. Spring is here. I'll talk to you later. Bye.